Perhaps the station's space image recently transmitted to Earth better shows the Caspian Sea's greatness. Indeed, how is this watershed formed? The Caspian Sea is one water basin located between Europe and Asia. This sea is located between 36 to 48 degrees along latitude and 47 to 52 degrees along longitude. Russia surrounds this sea from the north, Iran from the south, Azerbaijan from the west, and Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan from the east. The name of the Caspian comes from ancient people, Caspi, who lived southwest of the sea in Transcaucasia. The first people lived in this area of Dmana Sea, now in Georgia, around 1.8 million years ago. Due to the excellent weather conditions and soil fertility around the Caspian Sea, a large population has lived there. Today, more than 18 million people live near the coast of it, while only 7 million people live near the northern provinces of Iran on the coast of the Caspian Sea. The Caspian Sea was originally a part of a larger area, but after passing time, it was separated from its main water. To understand how it is formed through time, we should understand the Paratethys Ocean how is formed. The Paratethys Ocean was a large shallow water basin from the north of the Alps in Europe to the Aral Sea in Asia. This water was formed during the Oxfordian stage of the Late Jurassic. The Late Jurassic is the geological time between 163 to 145 million years ago. The Late Jurassic can be divided into three stages Tythonian, 152 to 145 million years ago, Kimmeridgian, 157 to 152 million years ago, and Oxfordian, 163 to 157 million years ago. During this Oxfordian period, the weather was hot and humid. A lot of vegetation and dinosaurs appeared during this time. After that, the Paratethys became progressively shallower mainly because of the drying climate. Today, the Black Sea, Caspian Sea, Aral Sea, Lake Urmia, and Namak Lake are remnants of the Paratethys Sea. The Menik Trench, also known as the Kuma Menik Depression, served as a bridge between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea until the beginning of the late Miocene epoch, 13.8 million years ago. The late Miocene was a global cooling and drying period from 11.63 to 5.333 million years ago. Sea levels dropped, precipitation reduced, and Rhine forests withdrew as ice quickly collected at the poles. Numerous plant and animal species vanished, and new species emerged better suited to a drier environment. Under this condition, the Caspian Sea became landlocked about 5.5 million years ago due to tectonic uplift and a fall in sea level. The story that this water area is a sea or a lake is an exciting topic that is always discussed. Like an ostrich, which has the characteristics of a camel and a chicken, this water body has the characteristics of both a sea and a lake. That is why it is called both sea and lake. We name the lake the Caspian, but some features are similar to the sea. This lake is so big that it is called the greatest lake in the world. To understand how big it is, we should compare it with the other lakes worldwide. The Caspian Sea constitutes about 14% of the total surface and 44% of the total water volume of the lake in the world. The area of the Caspian Sea is four times bigger than Superior Lake in northern Canada and the United States more than five times more significant than the largest lake in Africa named Victoria, or six times bigger than Michigan Lake in the USA. Thus, it's hard to think of it as the lake. On the other hand, it is unlike any other sea because it did not reach the open sea like them. So, it is still harder to consider it as a sea. This is the most important reason that when we say sea, we think and doubt whether this word is correct for this lake, although other scientific reasons caused by the physical properties of the lake's water distinguish this lake from other lakes. We can imagine that Caspian was a sea that had turned into a lake over time. By the way, this lake, or sea plays a significant role in forming the civilization of its surrounding areas. All governments and nations around it should appreciate it and be diligent in preserving this boundless beauty. <laughs> <laughs>